Hey, what up YouTube? Fallout here at the tower, and today we're gonna do a quick Grandmaster guide for Exodus Crash. Yeah, really sorry to be the one to tell you that this week it is Exodus Crash, one of the worst Grandmaster strikes in the game. Uh, we, the video is gonna be a little bit late today because we ran the strike a couple times before really finding our groove and finding the ideal cheese spot. So if you're only really interested in cheesing the final boss room, because pretty much the entire strike is a cakewalk up until you get to that final boss room where it turns into an absolute nightmare. If you wanna only learn about the cheese spot, go ahead and you can feel free to skip ahead to the end of the video where we will show you where it is. But uh, in the meantime, I wanna kind of cover everything that you're going to need for the Grandmaster Nightfall. So real quickly, the uh, the weapon drop this week is both the Comedian Shotgun and the Shadow Price. So if you're looking for a hot adept weapon <laughs> to drop from the GM Nightfall, uh, you picked the wrong week. Maybe get it done for the, I don't know, for the completion factor, for the, uh, the seal or whatever, and then move on with your life because it's kind of rough. The good news is that the only shield you really need to worry about is going to be a solar shield. There are solar shielded enemies and that is it. No void, no arc. If you are remembering an arc champion in the GM Nightfall, or you're remembering it from the strike, but in the GM Nightfall, they turn into overload champions and they have no shield. So all you really need to make sure is that you are taking care of both overload and anti-barrier. And as long as you have that and the ability to break a solar shield, you are good to go. Should go without saying that the Tiku's bow is going to be very, very good this week because you have overload bow, you have the ability to de-shield solar shielded enemies. That's gonna be pretty clutch. You can bring the Monarch if you want, but I would much rather recommend the Tiku. If you want to bring a kinetic bow, you can do that. That way you can pair together Ariana's Vow or maybe a fusion rifle to take advantage of particle deconstruction. I brought a anti-barrier auto rifle and a Cartesian coordinate with Vorpal. I just felt that would help me clean up, you know, majors, mini bosses a little bit quicker. When we got to the final boss room, we were dealing a little bit more damage, or at least I was to the, uh, the final boss. We did the run without the 1K, without Divinity, uh, again, like last week's GM guide, we, we figured out that, or we figured that since not a lot of people have Vex Mytho, not a lot of people have Divinity, not a lot of people have the 1K, we tried to avoid using it. Yeah, in the clip I'm about to show you, I did use the Anarchy, which I know I'm, I'm <laughs> not a lot of people have. But uh, the good news is that Anarchy really didn't help out that much. You'd probably be better off with a machine gun Actually, with the cheese spot that we're gonna show you, you probably don't wanna run the 1K because the boss will get so close to you that you could fire off a shot and you may end up killing yourself because they are so close to you. So I wouldn't even recommend you do that. Maybe bring a machine gun or a, a sniper or something like that. You don't really need the 1K for this strike. Uh, key armor mods that are always good to bring. You know, you got arc damage resist. The final room is gonna be heavy heavy arc damage everywhere. Arc damage resist or concussive will always work fine. Particle deconstruction and or focusing lens will work great if you have a stasis member on your team. Uh, ammo finder, always very important. But I think that we learned the most important thing of doing the Exodus crash strike was that you bring classes that are good at staying alive. We originally launched the GM Nightfall with one Shadebinder Warlock to try and take advantage of the Bleak Watcher turret and that kind of stuff. And it was fine, but we were having a tough time staying alive. And when we changed to a, uh, a double Radiant Well Warlock with Phoenix Protocol and Frostbolt was on a Ursa Furiosa Banner Shield Titan, all that kind of crap that you put together to stay alive, the, you know, you get your your Radiant Well energy back quicker with the Phoenix Protocol. You get your Titan Barricade or your Barrier Shield back quicker with Ursa, that kind of stuff. So I would recommend that if you're a hunter, probably go either Camo so you can stay alive if you happen to be the last one alive in the boss room, or maybe a Revenant 
to take advantage of focusing lens paired together with a radiant well warlock. But there you go. Uh, the most key factor for staying alive in the boss room. Again, skip to the end fight if you want the full playthrough, but there is a cheese spot location. There is kind of a generator with two pillars that you can get behind and you will stay back there chaining rifts and chaining radiant wells together. You will not leave that area unless you absolutely have to. And the reason why you use the one on the left rather than the one on the right of the map when you first enter the boss room is because the one on the back left corner, you can simply walk around the back of the structure and hide behind the generator. The one on the right, you need to actually jump up on top of a crate to get behind that structure. And if the floor of the boss room gets uh, lit up with electricity at any point, and it will, you lose the ability to jump. So you could get locked out from going to the cheese spot in the back right of the room, but the back left, you can simply hug the ledge on the right side and walk around to the back. So that would be the cheat spot. Stay there the entire time, play it as safe as you want. You don't really need to go out for any reason other than maybe to finish off an anti-barrier champion. And uh, there you go. One of the most annoying GM nightfalls in the game. I wish you lots of luck. Learn the cheese spot, learn it, live it, love it. And uh, if you want the full playthrough, I will show it now with no editing. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. We are close to 400K on YouTube. If we hit that before the end of October, we'll do something cool. Don't know what it is. Like the video, leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the full playthrough. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Clear all the ads. Great. Hit that guy from far away. We don't respect him. He is so slippery. Fucking Pike, bro. Immediately doing full health. Okay, let me let me ask you. Ask away. I will ask you. Let's say asking me out. Yeah, well, uh, questions for later. Uh, let's say you're trying to do a GM <laughs> farm for an adept weapon, right? Yeah. And crash happens to be the map that aligns with your, you know, god roll, whatever. Now, I appreciate that Bungie didn't put palindrome together with Crash. Instead, they should they have. Put, <laughs> God. Instead, they put palindrome together with Lake of Shadows, which I really appreciate, and I'm sure that other people really appreciate, too. But still, if you were trying to farm for, you know, an adept weapon... What kind of fucking lunatic would come into... Like, why is this strike still thing who would come in here to attempt to get what are the two weapons again today comedian and see shadow that one problem that says hey man i really like exodus crash and i don't really appreciate that you're throwing shade <laughs> at one of my favorite my gms favorite of all time strike. you see what unlike you i'm actually animal. an elite player who has patience fallout <laughs> unlike you dude who in their right mind would play this Grandmaster more than one time. Look, I'll tell you this. Dude. I would play it, but not to farm. I would do it just for me to get farmed. Because that's literally all you do when you do this thing. You just get farmed by ads. Yeah. And the final boss. And yeah, by farm. Bungie. <laughs> and Bungie. Bungie farms me. Every failed attempt that I do here, I feel like I'm getting oh. shattered by a Bungie CEO or something. <laughs> by a Bungie CEO. Oh my god, dude. It's just so painful. Like, for the challenge, yeah, sure. But anyone out here looking to farm an endgame activity or looking to get a god roll, I hope Listen, you get the man, god roll on the first try. If dude. you really want to challenge a step into quick play, this is the most that we've ever needed, like, weapon forging and all that crap, right? Because, dude, what are the sheer numeric odds that you run through this entire strike, you get what your you want. sanity, and get the god roll, the exact 5 out of 5 god I roll? I know the answer to that. 
the, the chance you get the god roll that you want is zero percent because no matter what roll you get, none of yeah. it is going to be worth the pain you go through for this Grandmaster Nightfall. Yeah. Yeah. None of it. Absolutely none of it. It, it doesn't matter if you think it's a five out of five. It's still not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Now, if there was an adept gun and then like a drop with the perk uninstalls the game for you, maybe then it'd be <laughs> worth it. Yeah, maybe, maybe then. Maybe then. Clap that ass, mud kid. Clap it. Do you plan on soloing this? Ah, uh, it. Are you gonna do it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That would. Have Are you to be... actually gonna try? I don't, dude, I mean, like, if enough people, if, okay, here's the deal. If enough people want me to, I'll do a sub goal for it. Damn, he said, I'll sell out for it. If, yeah. <laughs> All right, chat. I'm done a sell out, too. <laughs> oh, I, do I want to? No. Me and Fall no, will compete. No. Who can get the speed run solo oh, GM Exodus crash? Crossbow, please, bro. Nah, it depends what kind of speed run it is. If it's a speed run of who quits first, I'll definitely win. <laughs> who quits first? <laughs> I'll probably quit first. Dude, if you actually want to do, no joke, like a GM competition or something, like, I'll do it on Thursday. Thursday's my day. Oh. Yeah, for real. That sounds like fun. You want to do that it? That could be interesting. Yeah? Dude, that could yeah, be like a new let's series. Do let's do it. Thursday, we'll, we'll 1v1. <laughs> We're literally like in our own GM. GMs. GM 1v1. Oh, I like it, dude. Let's do that. What if we do a two-man GM, right? And then it's a 1v1 too. But if you die in the GM, you die for over. real. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Not that. Okay. It was just an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you die in the GM, you die for real. <laughs> it's like the Matrix. Oh, like Squid Game. <laughs> Squid Game, Grand. I'm not allowed to make fall. a Squid Game joke. I haven't watched it. You haven't watched Squid Game? No. Oh, it's so I've been watching anime, good. dude. Dude, you no gotta world. watch it, man. I've been watching anime, dude. It's, uh, yeah, uh, well, okay, for, that, that's understandable, but like... I found a new show to watch, so... Oh, yeah? Frostfall's like, I'm watching this type of anime called Hentai. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> Isn't that, like, high action, really, really good story? There's a lot of action going on in that, in that oh, Hentai. Oh, that kind of action, oh <laughs> my... It's still action, right? <laughs> no, I'm watching this one saying. called Baki. It's about fighting. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yo, get that one on the right, by the way. He's like half health. Stun him on the right. Do he it. stunned me, Do man. Do it. No! <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but yeah, you gotta watch... Uh, you gotta watch Squid Game, bro. It's one of the most uh, interesting, compelling. Don't you and... like work all the time, Paula? How do you have time to watch shows? Dude, I I literally like yeah I, I do work all the time. I uh, I watch shows when I sit down with Anna to have like dinner and chill. We have like it's it's like one time out of every day where we just make time to sit down and chill, no matter how busy we are. No, yeah, so cute. it's nice. Dinner time is a good time, but yeah, you gotta watch it, bro. Dropping the old ghost shell upside down bird. Let's go. Cool. This GM really can eat a dick. We might need to back up. Just a little bit. We're fine. Everything is okay. Man, you know what have probably been a good pick? Um, Risk Runner. The more I think about it. Yeah, that's probably what everybody is screaming. Rest runner! Rest runner! That actually probably would have been really good at cleaning out the uh But do we really need an ad clear exotic SMG? I mean, but 
as long as the shanks are alive and the ground is electrified, we can't jump, right? On that area? Oh, that part? Like Yeah, that part. So, like, if we're getting pinned down by repeated electric damage, power up, wrist but runner that for was the not a shank, effect. though. There's also a thing. Um, the freaking pillars that we're at? Yeah. I don't know the mechanic, but even without a shank, it will start to electrify the floor. Because yeah, I... Well, we're calling it out, and then I went to look, and there was no shanks. No shanks? Oh, they might have been hiding. No, no, no. Like, I made sure. So it's a pillar. Like, <laughs> oh, it I was, sure. like, uh, shaking with electricity as well. Yeah. The only downside, I don't think we have... Uh, there's no anti-barrier SMG or anything like that. So one person would kind of be going in all in for just one ad clear weapon, and that's kind of it. Tag on the left. Go reload coming. Three oh, of them. For the love of God, dude. We have back up. Yeah, we got back up. We're gonna make orbs right now. Yoink! Make them orbs, bro. Yeah, and wrist runner would chain damage to enemies that you can't see. Yep, true. Okay, uh, if Watch God out, forbid out. we die again, I will rock wrist runner. Orb. On the right, on the right. Jesus. Are you running a machine gun at all? Uh, no. Okay. But I could, I could. I think at that point, if, then, I, if I do risk runner, the I would do a machine would gun. Not maybe, be a bad yeah. idea. The reason why yeah. I, I didn't bring up the risk runner is because we had a machine gun. Right. For ad clear. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I don't have that on right now. Yeah, if we fail if again, we one of those corners, all the ads will definitely like, collapse on us, and then be an easy change. Yeah. Keep missing that tiny-headed captain, and now he's dead. And there we go. Best auto rifle for kinetic. God, I don't even know anymore. Maybe the uh, the carbine for the war mine cell. Even though the war mine cell got nerfed, it's still like not bad, right? Braytek werewolf is it going to? The Braytek werewolf. Yeah, it can roll um, four times the charm in uh, Vorpal. <sighs> Gotta drop a whale. That's cool. On the left, captain on the left. Yeah, get this shit. Get the fuck out, bro. Get out. God damn these things. All right, all right, all right. We're looking good. We got 14 revives. <laughs> 11 minutes. Not so like far. it'll matter in the final room. Yeah, exactly. All these revives, but for what? <laughs> I can't for even what? rest my teammates. Dude, the one time that Mudkip revives me. I was in the corner and literally when he picked me up, something about the angle where my guardian was, I got launched. Like he literally revived me and threw me out into the night. Like he just threw me off a cliff. That's so unlucky, man. It was the dumbest thing ever. So dumb. Could not even begin to tell you what kind of weird D2 physics engine I got clapped by. Why no cam today? If we're doing a video for YouTube on the GM Nightfall, we like to keep it clean. Keep it clean right here. Get that goddamn spider There's thing a way so you can make it that the cam only shows on stream. Wait, for real? Yeah. I didn't know that. Do you use Streamlabs? Uh, I, use, I use OBS. Hmm. On Streamlabs, I can click it where it says show only on recording or show only on stream or show on Really? Both. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's pretty sick. It's clutch. I gotta try that out. Well, for my stream, like, I don't show my cam, but for YouTube videos, I do. Thanks for the tip there, Brohim. Oh, that's probably what Datto does. That clever son of a bitch. Yeah, he probably does that. He probably do. Or he just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
path would be done that way. Yeah. Don't look it's over interesting, here. Interesting, the no cam versus cam on videos. Yeah. God, freaking auto rifles, man. You love using auto rifles on <sighs> high-end content, dude. All right. I hate that I have to bring it for the anti-barrier. I just hate it. Reload, reload. <laughs> Yay, it died. We can move on with our life now. Wee! 14 revives, 14 minutes. <laughs> Classic. Can't wait to get shafted on the final boss room, bro. Can't wait for the god roll, man. Can't wait, dude. God roll shadow price, baby. Can't wait for that optimal 1.5 time to kill PvP. Let's go. <laughs> and then we'll get a our good friend, somebody like who who would make a statement like that? Probably somebody like True Vanguard. It's actually really good. <laughs> Freaking True Vanguard, man! <laughs> Love True Vanguard. Him and his slider. His, his, his dedication to just make anything work. There's potential with so many guns in the game. It's like, I get it. Bunch yeah. doesn't just make guns and like, okay, but we're gonna make these terrible at the game. You know, they try to make them. Yeah. Good. Not every gun could be cracked, broken, right? Not every gun, but yeah. majority of the time, the gun is usable and has potential. You just sure. have to make the right build or yeah, use yeah, it a yeah. specific way, you know? Absolutely. Especially if one weapon in a single archetype that exists there is good, there's a chance that any other weapon in the same archetype could do the same thing. I feel you. Okay, let's uh, make our way over. Let's make, make our way downtown. Making my way. Walking fast. Stack Shank stack. past. <laughs> Fallen past and I'm home. Homebound. I do want to check out this other area too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check that one out. Maybe that'll be easier to jump to. What if we split, you know? Oof, Wait, this now, one I could just that jump could be over. Rough. Now, hold on, hold on. Can you just walk behind this one? Oh, you can walk behind this one. Look, Mudkip just showed can that you jump can walk over behind this it. One too. Right, but the thing is when the ground goes electric... And you lose the ability to jump. We can simply yeah. walk behind. Oh, this is the spot, dude. You think so? Yeah, dude. Because look, you this can just... This other spot I tried, you cannot jump over. There's an invisible like wall. There's an invisible wall. But here you can jump over. Yeah. So here you can jump over. And look, walk around the... Look, if you just walk around the right corner here. Look, you just walk right around to the back. And it's the same amount of cover, right? Dude, that's it. This is the play. All that, right. That other location can eat a dick, but this is the play right here. All right, if, if I'm it, done. Um, if, it, if, it, if it fails again, um, I'll switch to stag because um, I, I can consistently get rifts. Where is that? Uh, shank, yeah, I got another way. strategy too. If it fails again, I'm going to switch. Yeah. Like off destiny too. Yeah, I was going to say, if, if we <laughs> here's my strategy. <laughs> switch immediately to dead by daylight. Big pog. All right, let's do it. Nice, dude. I'm going to uh, save my actual DPS guns. Yeah, sure. For when things get wild. But much. Okay, no, 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 no. He's already being a douche. Yeah, that's what you get. Very, no. very no. cool. No! What happened? Where'd you, where'd you go? I don't know where my res is at. You better be in a good spot. Well over in about four seconds, my kid. Oh, you're not that bad. You're right there. Okay, once we clear out the area. Just try not to kill uh, the regular ads. You can kill the exploding shanks, but not but not all the ads. Let's leave the melee ones alive. Uh, why? Because they can't do anything to you at, at far range. 
Oh, I, I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, where are the shankies? I can't see any shankies. I'm trying to look for you. Oh, uh, okay. let's can you, can see. You Shank see any, uh, in mid map right now, all the way middle, like below my rest, pretty much. There's one. There's one. And I don't see any other shanks. I might have to creep out and try to. Yeah, you have to. You have to, to move out. It. I'll have to creep out. Will the electricity here. kill you? That's the question. It might. Huge. I'm going Actually, for the shank. Literally huge. Yeah, go for the shank. And then come creep back. I don't see the shank. You know? Oh, come on yeah. back. Come on back. I'll yeah, drop we... my. I'll drop next well. When whenever big boy comes back, I'll drop dude, well. Strafe team was just too OP. I know, dude. You, you broke. The fallen's ankle, so hard, my guy. Is that him? That's him. That's what you get. Okay, that's what I meant to do. Yep. Put Wait. two anarchy primes right here. That's what I meant to do, bro. Hey, that nigga, dude. That's the strategy. He's on the right, dude. Get rid of him, boys. He's gone. We have a server on the right side. He's still, he's in the middle. We can damage him from here. He's just being a goon. I don't know. He just ran over. There we go. He's back. He's back. He's back. Wow. Cool. Yeah, crouch down. Get him out of here if you can. Oh, I just had a crispy I dead really dead hope I don't get, like, thrown off the platform on my revive. Oh, oh clutch. so clutch, dude. So clutch. Oh, this is the uh, cheese spot, oh, we can, boys. Oh, we can Shank kill these. Back um, we're good. We're good. We're good. We can kill these barriers over here. Server oh, yeah? is down. I've, I've heard that story before. Bravo, I'm coming from up behind you. Don't freak out. Okay. I'm ready okay, for the On the right. On the right. Yep. Broken. Broken. Yeah, that one's going to die. Reloading. Reloading. I'm just getting ammo. Mm -hmm. And he is broken again. Roast him up. You're ready Hold to on. move back? Yep, I'm moving back, baby. Gently strafe back. Excellent. Okay, when that guy comes back, I'll drop the the well. <laughs> Look at these dumb shanks. <laughs> Look at him. They don't know what they're doing. Is he back? Dropping it. Don't care. He should probably in, be in his melee form. Mm. Uh, no, sir. I don't like it. Yeah, I think this is the uh, superior cheese catalyst right yeah, here. Yeah, it's so much yeah. easier to get to. This is so easy. Because you do need a walk there, out. There he is. There he is. There he is. He's right, like right. Oh, he's right there? Oh, yeah, he, 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 he right can't there. get us. He can't get us. Stupid hey, dummy. Ah, oh, you're, oh, you're bad, bro. <laughs> You're bad. That's what you get. Nobody likes you. You smell like beef. <laughs> He's just strafing back you and forth. You smell like beef, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I do need a better angle so I can do something with this Ursa. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I think I should be the one on the far left. Next time. Oh, he's already one shot. Yeah, he's already really weak. Oh, oh easy now. Don't get, don't get too DPS. cocky here, Frabo. I'm not. Oh, my man. He, my man's getting so cocky right now. Look at this. Easy, if, if bro. He, if Look he at this. I'm getting the aggro. <laughs> Dropping a well. Let's oh, go. get him, bro. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest thing ever. Yeah, pu push him Oh, man. The that. cheese spot. That's actually kind of easy. That was a really nice spot. That was very clean. Yeah, thank you. Very, very clean. All right, there you go. Cheese spot. You got your strap for later. Don't do the one on the right. Don't do the one on the right. It's terrible. Do the one on the left. So you can walk around the back. GG. No re.